Today I'm gonna show you how to mix several photos together and then give them a very beautiful color grading. Hey there, my name is Ali. Today's edit, we're gonna try to combine these four photos together to create something really beautiful. I'll start off by pulling our first photo. This will be our like main photo. The only thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'll crop this four by five ratio for Instagram. I'm gonna remove the delete crop pixels and I'm gonna press OK. However, I'm gonna press Control T and bring back this one to the normal size. It doesn't matter if you stretch a photo, as long as it doesn't have people, it have mountains. So that's why I'm going to take the clone, clone stamp tool and I'm going to get rid of this guy over here. Just alt click and just sample on top of him. Okay, now it's time to get rid of the sky. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool. I'm going to select the sky like that. And then I'm going to add a layer mask. I want the opposite of this, so I'm going to press Ctrl I. So now we got rid of the sky. However, we still have some parts of the sky here and there, which were not removed and maybe some here also. So how to do this? You must stand on the layer first. Then you go to select and you choose color range. You zoom into the color you want to select. Let's say this one, for example, and you press OK. So now it made selection of all similar colors. Now I'm going to stand on the layer and with a black brush, make sure you're like 100% flow and opacity. And on the mask, just paint over the parts. Only the parts, like don't paint over the whole photo or you will erase the whole photo. Just over the parts which had this white color. Maybe some on the edge here and there also. And okay. Control D once you want to deselect. Now it's time to pull the second photo, which is this one. I'm going to flip this one horizontal like that. I want the light to be in that point here up and I'm going to pull it down. And of course, I need to like stretch it out like that, increase its size a little bit. So now we're good. We have the light source coming from here. But as you can see, we still have some parts of white we didn't get rid of. So I'm going to again go to the color range. I'm going to select the color. OK, then stand on the layer mask with the black brush. I'm just going to get rid of them. Let me look here. Here also we have some here and there. Let's get rid of it. OK. And we can get rid of this completely if it doesn't look good. Okay, so now we have our two layers, but they are not matching at all. This one is very like green, yellow, and this one is more moody purple. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to add a hue saturation layer, and I'm going to desaturate it a little bit. Just lowering the color so we can play around with it. Make sure it's linked to it so it doesn't affect the one below. Linking by holding Alt and then pressing click at the bottom of the layer. Now it's time to add a curve adjustment layer. Make sure it's linked. Another way to link it is by pressing this one. It's linked. And I'm going to darken this one a little bit like that. And a little bit from here. Okay, now it's good actually. Then using a black brush with low opacity, I'm just going to erase some of the darkness I made over the edges. Because here is where the light is coming from. So it should have some light. Another thing I'm going to do is add a curve adjustment, link it, and this time I'm going to brighten things up, something like that. And I'm going to go to the red, I'm going to add some red, and in the blue, I'm going to add some yellow, like that. And in the green, I'm going to add some magenta, just a little bit, and okay. Okay, this looks horrible, of course, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control i Now it's invisible, but with a black mask. So whenever I'm going to paint with white on top of the mask, I'm going to reveal... So I'm going to reveal some here, some there. You see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to add some sort of light similar to the color of the light source on the edges facing the light. This also, this one also, it should have some of this color. And this one here also, maybe some of these leaves from here because they are facing that light source. 
Okay, it's time to jump for our next photo. Let's drag this boat. I need to cut this boat. The fastest way is going to be, I guess, the magic wand. Hold shift and just keep pressing clicks to add. Let's not forget the part in the middle. If you make a mistake, just control Z. This one, I'm just going to do it using the polygonal lasso tool. And let's take this water also and this one. Let's add layer mask now. We got the opposite of what we wanted. So control I. Now we have the boat. But I have to select like, like that. Just to get rid of the whole thing. Just like that. And I'm going to paint with black. Control backspace to paint with black because it's my background color. Then right click. Apply layer mask. So now we only have the boat. Let's drag it to our composition. I have this. I'm getting rid of like. I have these like white dots. I'm just getting rid of them. Okay. So I'm going to flip this one horizontal. And place it. Something like that. And here is where we are going to have our boat. Okay. The one thing about the boat is that it has this, like, the shadow. So I'm just going to select this lower part. I'm going to right-click layer via cut. So now I have this on a separate layer, this on a separate layer. So that I'll stand on this one, the shadow, and I'll just lower the opacity a little bit. And then I'm going to stand on the boat itself. Go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, and just desaturate it just. A little bit like that. Okay, because it was too orange compared to like the environment we have. Okay, so let's group these two. Let's call it boat. Okay, it's time to pull our next photo. Okay, I'm gonna use this man in our image. So, how to cut him? I'm gonna use the polygonal lasso tool and I'm just gonna go all around him. So, I'm gonna speed forward this point. And once you're done, you close your selection, you add layer mask. So apply layer mask and let me go to the move tool and let's pull him on top of our boat and let's adjust him. So that his bottom leg and his top leg are something like that. So that his top leg is on this. And his bottom leg, I'm going to add layer mask and using a, like a hard brush. I'm just going to erase from here. So that like his first leg is here and his second leg is on top of this deck. Okay. One more thing, I believe he's too lit from this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on the layer. Just go to image adjustments, curves, and just lower his brightness a little bit. Something like that is good. Matching the environment, really nice. I'm going to put him in the boat group. So now we have this boat. Okay, several more adjustments we need to do is that we need to emphasize the light which is coming from here. So I'm going to add a new layer. This new layer, I'm going to take a brush with a low flow and a low opacity. I'm going to make sure this layer is in overlay mode and I'm going to sample this color. Make sure you're using a soft brush. And I'm just going to paint some light here and there. Just think, and maybe just pull it like that. So just emphasizing the fact that we have a light source in here. Okay. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. This time I'm going to put it into linear dodge mode. Linear dodge mode. Okay. What this does is that with every next click you do, it makes things brighter. So we're not going to use a very bright color, just something like that. And I'm going to color something like this. Smaller maybe, something like that. Make it even smaller. Paint on top of it, on top of it, on top of it. And you can brighten it up a little bit and give it one more. And let's change the blending mode to screen. You see now what we made? We made like some sort of a very 
interesting light shape we can like play around with it make it bigger smaller put it here okay I like it in this area but if you don't like its color I believe it's too reddish so I'm gonna control U which is the hue saturation tab and from red to yellow you move to the right so I'm gonna you move the slider a little bit to the right maybe only six so you see this one it added some sort of a very interesting light so these two are the light we made you see very interesting okay let's do something a little bit opposite so adding a new layer this time I'm gonna sample a dark blue color something like that maybe this time I'm gonna paint but with a normal brush and I'm gonna paint here and there just like that and I'm gonna change it to overlay uh, it's too dark I guess so I'm just gonna lower the opacity a little bit okay so we added like some sort of blue color here opposite of it some sort of red yellow color there Okay, let's color grade the whole image together. I'm gonna go to the curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna take the black points, pull them up a little bit. Take the shadows point here, pull it a little bit down. And take the highlights, move them to the left, making them even stronger. So this is the curves adjustment layer, what it did. Again, I'm gonna go to add, add another curves adjustment layer. This time I'm gonna go to the red channel. I'm gonna add some cyan here down. If you move this, you're adding cyan in the shadows. So adding some cyan in the shadows and the opposite is adding some red. This is red in the highlights, red in the highlights. I'm gonna go to the blue channel. I'm gonna add some blue in the shadows here, opposite of it, some yellow in the highlights. And finally, I'm gonna go to the green channel and only in the highlights, I'm gonna add some magenta. This will make the photo like colorful and really nice. You see this, this effect? It gave like a whole color to the photo. Very, very interesting. Okay. Uh, what else could we do? Let me see. Okay, now I'm gonna control Alt Shift E. This will merge everything into a new separate layer. I can go to filter camera row filter now and edit the whole photo together. I always like to go to the radial filter. This actually, it's like you draw a circle around anywhere you want in the photo and do a certain edit to it. So I made a circle around this area. Make sure you're inside, not outside, because inside will make the effect only inside. And in this case, I'm going to make sure everything is zero. And you can either like, I'll make this more clear because I want eyes to be attracted here and less haze and a little bit brighter and a little bit warmer and press OK. So now I'm attracting eyes here. Let's go again to the camera row filter. Let's add some sort of like interesting light in this area. Let me draw again a sphere. And this time I'm going to rotate it. Make it something like that. And let me see. Something like that is good. S sorry, control Z if you made a mistake. Okay, so something like that. But this time I'm not going to clarify it so much. I'm going to dehaze actually. Haze instead of dehaze. I'm going to brighten, increase the whites, and increase the yellow even more. Maybe pump up the saturation even a little bit. And press OK. So you see we created some sort of a strip of light all the way coming like that. OK, we can do another strip of light. The options are saved. So whenever I draw something, it's going to be like the same like the ones before of it. I'll make it like that, but not that much yellow. So we have another like strip of light here. Sorry, control Z. I wanted to rotate it just something like that. And OK. So we have this strip of light. Again, let's go to camera row filter. This time I'm going to go to the FX module and add a little bit of vignette to the photo. Dehaze the photo a little bit. Go to camera calibration. I like to play around with the colors, see different variations of colors. What's going to happen when I play with this and that. And let's go back to the basic. Let's declarify everything a little bit, make everything blend together and press OK. So this is the camera row filter. It added a lot of interest, as you can see, to this area. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you put them in the comment section down below. Thank you, guys.